I'm Robert, I'm 17. I come from Hatchen High School, which is in northwest London. My name is Millie, um, I'm 18 and I'm from a school in the UK, in Kent. We went to CMS, um, we went to the control room and it's, it's just lots of screens and computers. And people are really friendly there. And then we went 100 metres underground and we see all the systems and all the cabling and and it looks really complicated. So Millie and I had to work on some chipboards. Uh, it was a chipboard that provides power to one of the parts of the detector and basically it had two resistors and some of them uh, in each connection it had about uh, uh, 100 connections and some of them were in back to front. So what we had to do was we had to test every connection uh, to see how it behaved and then so we could identify which ones were broken and uh, what they're going to do with our data, they're really going to use it. They're going to use it um, to work out how bad the problem is and then they might fix it based on our data and they're going to collect some additional data and, as well and they're going to combine it. So what we were doing was actually helping CERN, it's going to be used and um, we were doing something useful which was amazing as well, it was great. One interesting thing that happened was when we had lunch with Andre and he was eating something with lemons and zucchini and we were talking to him about the experiment in the Higgs because he's a Higgs analysis yeah. and so there he is with his plate he suddenly turns it into a diagram for the CMS <laughs> detector <laughs> he has lemons as protons he's pushing them together and telling us how they're colliding and how it goes through his yeah. zucchini detector <laughs> it, it was, was absolutely hilarious and it was extremely helpful as well, well. surprisingly yeah. helpful yeah yeah and um, our supervisor um, he just kind of picked up a napkin and started talking about really like complicated <laughs> yeah. design of um, the detectors and this was real like physics on the back of a napkin stuff like yeah, literally <laughs> And um, there was this hat yeah. signed by Peter Hicks. <laughs> that was amazing. We got and, to take pictures of yeah, it. Yeah, and we got to actually wear it and took pictures of it, which is amazing. <laughs> and but, but can you imagine, like a famous scientist nice. who's gonna probably get a Nobel Prize one yeah. day, and we have a helmet signed by, by him. him. And yeah. it's so exciting. <laughs> uh, uh, we met John Ellis. John Ellis is a theoretical is, physicist. Yeah, uh, and we both are really interested in, in theoretical physics. We're both physics, considering yeah. that, which is good. Uh, he's apparently the second most cited theoretical scientist uh, yeah. ever, which is pretty amazing. He was just there talking to us over coffee, so that yeah, was pretty special, really I have nice. to say. Uh, this week has been pretty amazing. I mean, I did stuff I never thought I'd be doing. It showed me that being a physicist really is as great as I thought it would be, and now I definitely want to do physics university and be a physicist one day.